Today, we introduce Loop Builder for Divi 5, which allows you to construct looping, post-based, and term-based content using any Divi element. Divi's Loop Builder is unique in its freedom. You can loop anything without being restricted to a static loop module or container. Build your looping element, then customize your query using various convenient options and meta queries. It supports WooCommerce, advanced custom fields, and even ACF repeater fields. It's an incredible feature. Let me show you how it works. Before I get into the details, let me give you an example of what you can create using Divi's new Loop Builder. Look at this beautiful blog feed. You will be familiar with a blog post loop because it's core to WordPress and something featured by the Divi blog module, but this isn't a blog module, it's a custom loop. I constructed my blog template using Divi elements and design settings. Next, I turned on looping for this column and chose to loop through posts. The column gets repeated with each instance representing a post in the loop. Finally, I plugged in dynamic content from the loop, such as post title and featured image, so that each item in the loop displays its unique content. You can do this for any post type. In this example, I created a loop of featured WooCommerce products for my homepage. The template was constructed using modules and groups within a column looped within a row. I customized the query to show specific products I wanted to feature. I created a loop of upcoming events from the events calendar plugin in this example. Divi's Loop Builder gives you complete freedom to design your looping element so you can get creative with the design of your loops, especially with Divi 5's Flexbox layout system. You can even loop module sub-items like a slide within a slider. This looping slide displays featured courses from Tutor LMS. Divi has had the concept of post-based modules like the post slider and blog modules, but with dynamic content in Divi's new loop builder, any element can be turned into a dynamic loop. Let's look at the loop builder's query options that control which posts appear in a loop. You can choose which post type to loop through, filter posts by categories and tags, filter specific posts, or build custom meta queries to target specific content. You can also control post ordering and offset. You can also loop through terms and users. In this example, I created a top level product page that loops through all WooCommerce product categories. Each item in the loop is a category rather than a post. I also made a page featuring all our blog's authors. It loops through all users with the author role and displays their name, avatar, and bio. Divi's Loop Builder also supports ACF repeater fields. If you used ACF to create a query loop, you can simply select it from the query type menu and everything will fall into place. Divi's new Loop Builder is available today and is one of many updates coming to Divi this year. 2025 is the year of Divi 5. It's time for Divi to make its comeback. You can follow along as we progress through the final release of Divi 5 and beyond with updates every two weeks. You can use Divi 5 now to build new websites or wait until we add more features, whatever works best for you. We want you to try it, and if you love it, use it. When everyone loves it, we'll make it official. In case you missed it, we recently released the all-new Flexbox-based layout system for Divi 5. This is no minor update. It reinvents Divi, allowing you to build any layout structure, including responsive layout breakdown, custom module ordering, easy vertical alignment and element positioning, and much more. No stone was left unturned, no option was forgotten. We did it all, and it's best in class. There's a link in the video description to learn more. Thanks for watching, and before you go, I have one favor to ask. If you're here for the Divi comeback, let us know by liking this video. It means a lot to see you cheering Divi on, and it's essential to feed the algorithm and spread the word. Don't forget to follow and subscribe so you never miss an update, and I'll see you soon for another Divi 5 feature announcement, which I promise is right around the corner.